We well, saw how quick that was to set up. And I've got to say, Foxy, you were not wrong, mate. I mean, I know how comfortable it is to sleep in a hammock, so it really should come as no surprise how comfortable it would be to have a hammock chair. Um, but this really is the poodle's plums. I've got to say, for, for what you pay for this thing, um, that the comfort value you've got you know, okay, nature provides for us in a way with, uh, you know, fallen logs for a seat. And in other ways, it gives us a nice padded backside to uh, to sit on. But I tell you what, for what you pay for this off of uh, UK hammocks, if, if, if this even lasts just a couple of years, then you've got, you've got a cracking investment out of it. If I put the sides up of this, right... I didn't even go for the extra wide one as well. So that's that's how far the hammock seat comes around me. And what I've done with the webbing, putting it through the uh, the large channel, having wrapped it around the little tree, it then gives me a nice footrest as well. I haven't put the Amsteel at the bottom of this because that'd be too thin and I think it'll cut through my trousers into my legs and be a bit uncomfortable. Uh, but this way, with the webbing, I can put my feet up and really chillax in uh, in this. And it's crazy, because I've been umming and ahhing over one of these for a few months. And really, for the sake of 15 quid, when you take into account shipping, um, what an awesome little chair this is, I've got to say. I mean, you know, you need to find a couple of trees that are spaced nicely apart and, you know, you might not be able to use it every time. But the fact that I've got it made in a configuration where I've got the large channel uh, at the bottom, so I could put it into an A-frame chair if I wanted to, um, or even just using a, a, a bipod resting up against another tree. You know, you could turn it into the, the more traditional style bushcraft chair that people were, you know, probably more aware of. Um, it's not warm out here today at all. It's about six degrees, so you know it's not freezing, but it's not warm. And one thing I can notice is that I can feel some heat loss going through my backside and my back, my lower back, um, through convection. It's not windy, but I can feel I can feel a little cold spot. So I'm going to have a play around with this and just see how it works out with. Uh, fixing the, the wall blanket to it as well because I'm looking at a few different things for the, uh, the wall blanket and the hammock which I'll show in another video coming up soon but uh, in terms of comfort value excellent let's have a little look at how I set it up very easy to get in and out of as well you know so uh, that's literally all I've done for the top fixing and what I might actually do is put that higher next time just so that I'm sitting a little bit more upright. And I'll have a little play with the, uh, the configuration of this, see how it works out, but I've got it at roughly head height. Um, and I've tied this webbing into knots every uh, once in a while. So I've got a few different options. And then coming down to these carabiners, these cost me 12 pounds, I think it was, from uh, DD Hammocks directly. Now you can't get climbing grade carabiners for less than that anywhere that I know of um, you know that's 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 for a pair as well and then the little bit of am steel that goes around the button now this uh, this hammock itself this is just a single single layer but it is stitched all around the edges and indeed when you come down to the bottom bit you can probably see there that it's triple stitched where the channel has been made. Now that channel at the bottom is probably about as wide as my, my hand so there's no problem with getting a fairly stout and sturdy um, stick or branch through there you know once I've smoothed it off and everything so that it doesn't tear the material but you know it's a ripstop material and then instead of putting the am steel through the bottom channel I've um, made it a little bit more secure with another piece of this webbing and that basically goes directly around the tree. 
that I'm hanging from. So no need for that extra piece of Amsteel coming along this bit to uh, say cut into my legs. Um, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. This, this is going to be taken I think on holidays, fishing trips, um, for its size uh, and pack size and weight it's, uh, it's an absolutely cracking bit of kit and it can be put up anywhere you want. Tie it from a tree to a, to a van, um, tie it from one balcony railing to another one uh, on a 90 degree angle. I don't know, I mean the, the possibilities are pretty endless for this really. So for its size, I, I think I'm going to just chuck this into my pack and my, uh, my fishing gear and my holiday suitcase every single time I go away now. So there you go, that's the uh, UK hammocks hammock chair. All set up and uh, waiting for me again. So uh, in the interest of science, purely in the interest of science of course, I'm going to give it another go. I think I'm going to sit here for half an hour, maybe an hour. We'll see what happens. I'll see you in the next one.